the most expensive piece of real estate. Dolph Deruz, who is a mentor of Neil Peterson, who's my mentor and somebody who ushered me into real estate investing, uh, especially on my first deal. And uh, is somebody who is an author, speaker, um, and a real estate investor. And uh, he calls himself an international throttler. Somebody who's just traveling everywhere in the world. And um, look, I got the privilege to meet Dolph in 2018 at an investors forum in here in South Africa. And it was an incredible one meeting like-minded individuals. This is why I always encourage you guys to network as much as you can. And I was starstruck because I read this guy's books, I read his stories and how he went and did a submission of around um, 60 offers, actually. Think about it, somebody did 60 offers um, or to the bank to get a finance application. So I wanted to say 60 applications with the banks to get a, uh, his first property financed while he was still in university. I was back in the day, so I think the Credit Act did not kick uh, too much, whether we're caring too much about your affordability, etc. I think it was more based on a business case if the property can make money. So as you can see, this is somebody who is very you know, persistent. Uh, I mean, if they accepted him on the first um, um, application, he was not going to ever get to 60. So one of his uh, books that I was reading, he mentioned something that actually got with me. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to share this thing with guys on my Patreon, where we can actually go into the details of how you can implement this in your life. And also, if you're on YouTube, you're just going to be getting this video. I'm just also just sharing the concept with you guys. So if you're not on YouTube, so if you're on YouTube and you're on your Patreon channel, make sure you click the link below for Patreon and sign up for more exclusive videos, you know, live webinars that we do. And also, uh, we bring guests and also we do like, you know, weekly videos that we go into in depth about property finding, you know, deal finding, negotiating, and how do you negotiate um, and also deal making, depending on which tier you are on as well. And also you can plug you up with some investors as well who are looking to close deals with you. Otherwise, um, in short, I just wanted to say, this is one thing Dolph said that um, really got me. He just said something like, the most expensive piece of real estate is in between, he said it's six inches between your two ears, you know? I just wanna quote him here, he says, the most expensive uh, piece of real estate is the six inches, give and take inch or two between your right ear and your left ear. He said, because it is what you create in that space that determine, determines your wealth. And then he says, another way of putting it is that only scarcity is a lack of imagination. So can you believe that? So. In short, he's just saying the most important piece of real estate is not out there. It's not the most expensive property. It's not the most expensive building. It's not the biggest building that's owned by the biggest fine. It's not the oldest building in town. It is just your mind. And he was just saying that you have to become creative as a person. And this is where the same people get, you know, the same people who are successful today, they've been successful before and for the longest time have been getting all the ideas, all their creative ways, all their innovation, and all the inspiration and being able to use that faculty called your mind to create incredible things today. We have buildings, we have cell phones, we have tablets, we have internet, we have a lot of other things happening. We have Bitcoin, we have all these digital currencies, you know, uh, supercomputers that are connected right now during uh, using Ethereum and a lot more other things as well that are happening because somebody just applied that thing called their mind. And in real estate, the only difference between you and somebody who's making a hundred million run deal and somebody who's making a billion dollars in deals today is just what they think and how they think as well and what they feel in their brains. Do they have clear goals, do they believe in their goals to say, this is possible, this is out there, this is something I can be able to get. Or do they think, hey, I can't do this because of excuses and reasons and reasons and reasons and excuses. Or I haven't started because of excuses, reasons and more excuses. So depending on which one you choose in that way, that is also what are going to be, that's, that's going to be what's determining where you end up as a person. So you don't have to go out there looking for the most expensive piece of real estate because the most expensive piece of real estate is something you were born with automatically. So I want you right now to listen to this properly and understand that Anything you haven't achieved today is your responsibility. <clears throat> Everything that you have not started today <clears throat> is because you chose not to. It's not the excuse you have because you can only choose, either you choose to make excuses or you can either choose to take action and get results. And the results are not supposed to be perfect, especially if it's the first time. If it's your first time driving a bicycle, you're not expecting that to be perfect. 
If it's the first time, you know, you, you're driving a car, you are not the perfect driver because you watched and read books about uh, car driving. The same thing when it comes to real estate and the same thing that comes in business as well. So just understand that anything that is actually going to make sure that you become successful is your mind. And if you watch the previous video, I've spoken about, you know, exactly what to do to feed your mind so you can continue on a self improvement course that is going to help you become successful as well and i just wanted to emphasize in this video that look there's nothing else that's stopping you right now from doing what you want from be where you want to be or from getting where you want to get other than your mind and which is something that is say Dolph is called is saying is between the six inches the six inches between your right ear and your left ear so that's just one thing i wanted to share with you guys to say to say hey keep feeding your mind positive things uh, keep uh, surrounding yourself with the right people um, you know, keep making sure that you keep good company, uh, keep making sure that you stay positive and keep making sure that you keep improving yourself, watching videos like this, or you're focusing directly on your mind uh, while you're also doing the work as well. I hope you appreciate this video. And then if you want to see more exclusive videos where we go into the details of how to do these things, steps, uh, workbooks, etc., I think that you must be able to subscribe below for the Patreon channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.